India's robot doctrine revealed. In 10 years, the army will raise a robot army. Robots to conduct half of all operations. That may sound like some mad scientist's dream, but access to documents that reveal for the first time ever India's military robot doctrine. A document listing out the 16 classified programs currently underway to give India an army of robot soldiers. Built for operations across the board, robots that will allow soldiers to stay out of harm's way wherever possible. We have the IED handling robo, we have a robo which, which has a AGL launcher that is grenade launcher and a LMG mounted on it. We have another one which is a smaller one which can go into the aisle of an aircraft and into the bogies, uh, AC bogies of a train and diffuse IDs. I I'm sure uh, this will go a long way in saving uh, limbs and lives of uh, many soldiers on the front who handle the unexploded devices. With a largely untapped expertise in the field of robotics, the armed forces have laid out a hugely ambitious vision for unmanned combat. Here's what the robot doctrine is based on. India's armed forces are too large and unwieldy. The way forward is to streamline human strength and induct more machines. With the possibility of an all-out conventional war quite remote, India can relegate most tasks to unmanned systems. The threats India faces now are asymmetric and unconventional from militants and terrorists. Why put human life at risk when a robot can get the job done faster and more effectively? It's no secret that Indian scientists have been laboring on robots for years. But what Headlines Today reports for the first time is just how deeply entrenched the armed forces are in their vision for a robotic army. By 2020, the Indian Armed Forces hope to be on par with the United States in use of unmanned weapon systems against the unseen enemy. The entire, uh, entire gamut of robots which are going to be developed will go from the small robots, or micro uh, robots, to the bigger and even a tank sized robot which will, which will be deployed specifically for these kind of missions where, uh, where you know, it is uh, critical not only for the, uh, for the, uh, the soldiers on, on the ground, but uh, these robots are also being planned for situations like a nuclear, um, uh, uh, you know, or a chemical attack. India's robotic warfare doctrine is still work very much in progress. But what we've just shown you is the seriousness with which the armed forces are approaching the future battlefield with less hands and more metal. This isn't some fantasy from an Isaac Asimov novel. This is warfare concept. Very real, very simple. Deadly Blast is all in a day's work for this machine. This is Daksh, India's first robot soldier. Rugged, hard as nails and built for that most dangerous of anti-terror duties. Handling and disposal of improvised explosive devices. In six months, the Indian Army will have its first 20 Daksh robots for operations in the Kashmir Valley. As you see, today the uh, kind of warfare is more uh, aligned to counterinsurgency or uh, anti-terrorist kind of warfare that we are going to see in the future. And in this kind of scenario where the, the theater of war is mostly uh, in the urban areas uh, or inside towns, uh, there the requirement is uh, to have these robotic systems or unmanned systems which can go into these kind of uh, places or within a building, climb stairs, get inside, and take out the uh, terrorists over there. But Daksh is only the first. Headlines today now has access to documents listing every single military robot being developed for the Indian Armed Forces. Most of these have never been known to exist before. A highly secretive program is underway to build an armed infantry robot capable of tracking, chasing and engaging terrorists or militants in Kashmir and the Northeast. 
scientists are developing a remote-controlled urban warfare robot capable of providing command and control to troops in 2611-like situations. In the next decade, robots will assist soldiers in patrolling the disputed border with China. They will be programmed to survey pre-decided swaths of territory with algorithms for levels of engagement. A predator-type attack drone is also in the works. By 2015, India will test its first unmanned combat aerial vehicle by remotely launching precision-guided ground weapons. One of the most dramatic programs in development is an autonomous robotic boat capable of engaging and sinking suspect vessels and pirate ships. Another critical program is building a miniature unmanned submarine vehicle for near shore and coastal patrol, mine detection and early warning in battlefield situations. Uh, we already are seeing a lot of uh, plethora of such platforms in the Indian Army as well as armies abroad. And wherein a lot of uh, these uh, dangerous tasks or tasks which involve loss of life uh, in normal uh, situations are being outsourced or let's say are being done by the robotic platforms. And I'm sure it will be in a, after 10 to 15 years we'll find a good, about, good amount of tasks being done by these robots. There are 10 other programs but some of them are too secretive to even talk about as they involve controversial directed energy weapons and the handling of nuclear materials. It will take years, but India will gradually have its very own robot order of battle. Robots for every conceivable act of offense and defense. Robots that will keep Indian soldiers and the country that much safer.